Hi guys, my name is Simeon. My name is Cora. And today we're gonna to be working with you on the level four, also known as gold tango. In the tango, we are going to start off with one steps one through 12 of the fall away and open check. The reason why we're starting with these steps is because at syllabus level, we are required to dance the first four bars of every routine in closed position. So we wanna make sure that we're really starting with that first step in closed position. The next step after that is going to be the oblique wrap. Let's get going. part. Now the idea of this is that it's going to go in one straight line down the floor. Uh, you can start it anywhere down the long side. I wouldn't do it on the short side. It's rather long. But because we're a little confined with space and I'm sure uh, stuck at home you might be confined in sp uh, with space as well. We, could, we curved it for you. But I'm going to show it to you in a straight line the way it's supposed to be and I will just kind of walk back and forth and give myself some extra space. In the American style this is called a 1 through 12 of a fall away with an open check. So this is how the step works. I uh, face line of dance, but as I, as I take my first step of the fall away, I'm gonna curve it to go diagonal center. So I'm gonna do, and then this is gonna be quick, 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 quick. So I'm gonna go quick, quick, quick. Now this is the hardest part of the fall away slip of it. So as soon as I put my heel down, I'm gonna do like a little U-turn with my right foot. And in tango, we pick up and place the feet. So, I'm gonna pick up and place it like making a, a curve, a U. And hopefully the space between my legs is big enough for the lady. So if I do it at a different direct angle so you can see the space between my legs, it goes something like quick, quick, quick. And then as I do this U, so again, I'm picking up my foot. As I do this U, I'm creating space for the lady's leg to slip inside, okay? So she's not slipping on the inside on her own. I am kind of stepping off her track and slipping her inside. So from here, I step off to the side and I pivot. Now, even though I say side, it really feels more like a backward step. So it's back and diagonally behind me, but because of the curve, I kind of call it as a side step because it is wide. Yeah. So I step back and slightly to the side and then I pivot on my right foot. Yeah. So if I show you the whole thing one more time about stopping slowly without stopping, Go quick, 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 quick. From here, we have Viennese crosses. That's kind of the normal term in international style. So I go forward, side cross, then I go back, side close, and one more, forward, side cross. And here, I'm gonna spin the lady. It's gonna be a free spin. I'm gonna do another back, side close, back, side close. So basically, I'm doing the Viennese cross, two times all the way through. So I'll show it to you one more time with counts. So after the fall away slow pivot, goes quick, quick and quick, quick and quick, quick and quick, quick and. Then I catch the lady slow. And when you do the spin for the lady, you wanna keep your, kinda your body in your own space. Don't wanna lean forward to uh, interfere with her spin. So once I spun the lady, so let me do my last Vini's cross. So quick, quick and, as I spin her quick, quick and, I monitor how much she's moving and I catch her on the slow. So we have the hand position here, slow. Then we move away from each other and slow. And from here I'm gonna spin the lady across me quick and quick and, 
I catch her on slow. Now what I what I look for, the lady is gonna be going back on the right foot on that slow. So when I uh, spin the lady across me, she goes quick and quick end. I tie my leg with her on the slow and I catch her, putting my right arm or my left arm back for silent. From here, I'm gonna with my catch, I'm gonna turn her. She's gonna turn on quick, quick, and I will step on the second quick. So I go quick, I finish my weight onto the right foot. Now this one's probably the trickiest step. I need to step around to get onto her track, but I need to do that without running her over. So once, once she's done the first step, quick, I monitor where I can take that step. Quick, I catch the lady and move to the side slow. Now I'm not afraid, if, she, if she's a little too far away, I'm not afraid to go and slow and put the left foot back in. So I can go from quick to slow, I could go quick and slow if I feel I'm too far away, but it's pretty flexible. And that is the man's part. All right, now for the lady's part. So we are starting out with steps one through 12 of the fall away to open check. Now what we're starting out with that is basically a following reverse and slip pivot. So we're gonna dance that as going back on the right foot on quick, going to the side on the left foot on quick. Now, as the man rotates, I wanna to continue to rotate my body towards him as I cross my right foot behind on quick. And now from here, I'm going to allow him to continue to rotate across in front of me. And now I'm gonna slip my foot in between his feet to dance our slip pivot on quick. Okay, now from there we're gonna go into our beanies cross turns. The beanies cross turns, we kind of mimic the basic beanies waltz. So beanies cross turns, we're going back, side close, forward, side cross, back, side close. At this point here, the man is going to lead us to turn. So what I'm gonna do with my turn is from here, I'm going to allow him to move across in front of me on the first step, so I go quick. He's going to drop the right hand down, and I'm going to step to the side of my right foot on and turn on the right foot to step side on quick. Now I'm going to continue to turn on my left foot to step and, and I meet him on slow. So to show that a little bit faster, I'm going quick and quick and slow. Now from here, we're gonna step out to do a leg lift. So I'm going out to the side and lifting my right leg up to my left leg. So I wanna place my foot right alongside the inside of my knee. But notice that the first thing I do before I do that is I stop my spin facing the man. So that's a really, really important detail to make sure that I am finish facing the man before I do my lift so I can make sure that I'm connected with him. So one more time with those pieces, I have quick and quick and connect with the man on slow and step out on lift on slow. Next, we're going to do the waist wrap. So from this position here, I have another uh, quite quick spin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first find my direction. So my direction is going that way. So I go find my direction. Now I have to make sure that I fold my arms very tightly around me. So I'm going to go quick forward on the right foot, together on and, side on quick. Now on the next and, I'm going to start to bring my right arm up. So I'm going to go and, now here again, I'm trying to find Simeon with my eyes so I know where he is. He's going to already start to wrap his head in my waist and I'm going to step back slow. Okay, so one more time. From the leg lift, I have quick and quick and. Then I step back slow. Now from this position here, I'm going to step forward on my left foot on quick. But notice how I'm keeping my arm up so I don't hit him in the face. I have quick. I'm going to step to the side quick and find his hands. And now I'm going to step out to the side with my left foot. Slow. And again, the same thing as what Simeon just said for the man's part. 
I can step directly out to the side on the slow, or I can step out like a kind of and slow. So if we happen to be a little bit too far away from each other, then I'll take that step closer to myself on the and and point my right foot out to the side on the slow. That's kind of a monitoring thing that we have to get used to right there. Okay, now we'll go through it together. All right, so we're not gonna go into details over the fall away and open check because uh, we can actually, you can get a few more details about that step if you just link over to our uh, silver level American style tango video where we go into more details there. So we're gonna jump right into that oblique and waist wrap. Okay, so we're gonna do it in the, kind of, I'm gonna dance it and I'm gonna come back because I really wanna keep that line so you guys don't get confused about the spacing. Uh, the first time we did it to music, we kind of curved it to fit it. But this time it'll make a little bit more space. I just walk back and forth. So we'll do the fall away slip pivot and the beanies cross first. Yeah? So here we are. I'm facing line of dance and I'm going to curve as I take my first step. I go quick, quick, quick pivot, quick. Now the beanies cross, forward, side cross, back, side close. And I'm going to repeat that two more times. So if you go from a different angle, Follow away slip pivot, quick, quick, quick. This is the tough part. So I open my leg up for a cora. Now what's very common is for the man to keep his leg like this and the lady's got no space, yeah? So I want to, I'm still in the left leg, but I'm using my right one to kind of reach in a curve as I slip the lady, pivot quick. And then we do the beanies cross, forward, side cross, and back, side, close. Now notice that when I do my side step, I leave a little bit of space in front of me for my crossing foot. If I step too close to Cora, and I, I try not to step on her, if I step too close to her and I have no space, I step on her foot, or, or common too, step on your own foot. And that's a painful one because when you step on the lady's foot, you're stepping on her with your heel, not even with your toe. So that was an extra painful one. So I try to keep my weight a little bit more forward and I make space for my crossing foot. For, the, for a moment, this one's gonna be just a little further away from my partner in order for me to uh, squeeze the left foot in between. Now ladies, that would be exactly the same for you when you're doing your forward half. So when you're doing your half of forward side cross, it's the same idea that as you take that step out to the side, it goes in this kind of alignment here so that you actually have space to move the foot across. So if I demonstrate that with Simeon, when I take the step, if I try to go too close around him, then I'm not going to have any space to cross my feet. I'm going to run into him. So what I need to do is actually take my second step, the same thing for the man, a little bit more down the line so that it gives us more space to actually cross the foot. So the next part is rather tricky. I have to let her spin in front of me and uh, get out of the way. So I'll do the last beanies cross. Quick, quick end. So I'm gonna cut a little more to the inside, give her some space for her spin. I'm gonna go quick, quick end. I catch her on the slow. And this side step is very flexible. You just need to make it as big, small, forward, back as you have to in order to catch her. And then we explode away slow. Okay, now your job with this hand here is to keep it as still as possible so the lady knows that you're gonna catch her, yeah? She's gonna feel much more comfortable and uh, happy with you, you just keep it still. Uh, what I try not to do is I try not to help her. So obviously if she's gonna fall over, I'll try to help her, but my job is really to leave it right in the middle and to feel where her weight is over the foot to know exactly where I need to place my hand. So I don't pull her over to me, I don't push her away. I don't try to compensate with this hand. I like to keep it in one place, but I have to know where that place is. So practice that exact spot where I keep Cora. So ladies, notice that when I was showing this combination by myself, I didn't need Simeon to keep me on balance. That should be your goal no matter what. So when you're practicing this at home, make sure that you practice over and over again on your own from slow, slow, so that you can balance by yourself. Now when Simi and I connect, I don't use him any extra, yeah? Yes, I know where he is, but I don't actually need him. He can let go of me and I'm still perfectly on my own balance. That is our goal. So from there, I'm gonna spin her across me. Now this is gonna be quick and quick and, and I'm gonna spin her across me as I transfer to my left foot. So I go quick and quick and. 
Now I walk with her on the slow. And that's the step I was mentioning. I want to tie my leg with her leg slow. So she basically vacates the space. If she delays that foot, I might run into it. Or I might have to go too far away and then I wouldn't be able to catch her. So I'm timing my leg with her leg slow. And ladies, I'm doing the same thing, timing my leg with his leg. So this takes a lot of back and forth between the partnership, hence why it's a level four step. It takes a lot of practice with the partnership to understand that as you do that spin, we, we are stopping and finding each other on quick and quick stop. I know where he is. I can track where he is. Right now I spun this time a little bit in front of him. So I'm going to take my foot a little bit more in the angle so that we can connect. But from here, I'm going to use my hand to lead her to go the other way. So I'm just going to fling her the other way. And as, as she does the quick, quick, I'm going to step with her, quick, quick. And I'm trying to aim for about here. I don't want to get too close, but I also don't want to be too far away. So quick, quick, and then we explode again, slow. And notice I didn't move my foot, but if I was too far away, let's say on this one, I could go and slow and move my left foot, yeah? So quick, quick, slow, and done. All right, guys, that's it for this video. We are going to continue uh, expanding on this routine in the subsequent lessons. I think you're gonna really, really enjoy this routine. It is challenging, but it's a lot of fun. You'll, you'll love it. We like it, you'll love it. Thanks, guys, and see you next time. Thank you.